Yeah, I think that's a really good spice level. It'll sneak up on you though. That be careful. Welcome back to the Midnight Pride. My name is Chris. Catherine is behind the camera right now because we're sitting across from one another here at Lemongrass at the Aria in Las Vegas. We've never eaten here before. We are really looking forward to it. We're starting out with some Thai iced tea and we have some really good things on the way, hopefully. The first thing that came out that we ordered is the spicy Asian cucumber appetizer. Okay, it's definitely a cucumber. Definitely has an Asian flavor to it. The spice comes at the end a little bit. It's not very spicy. I like how crunchy the pickle is. Yeah, I think it's a good little appetizer, actually. I'm dying to know what Chris thinks. All right, my turn. That is very crunchy. Oh, there's a spice. Yep. As refreshing and spicy at the same time. I like it. We also got a Thai iced tea, which I happen to love. If you're looking for something to offset the spiciness of your food, this is the way to go. This is really good. I think I like the one at Din Tai Fung better, but this one's really good too. We decided to order as our main entrees the pineapple fried rice, which has shrimp and Chinese sausage. Have you ever had Chinese sausage? Do you know what that's like? I'm very interested in it. Leave us a comment down below and let us know. We also got the yellow curry with chicken and the pad thai with chicken. And I am going to start with the pineapple fried rice, which looks amazing. By the way, we ordered our meals uh, with a spicy level of five. Mm. That shrimp is really good. Yeah, that rice has a really good flavor. I'll probably eat the rest of it with the fork just to make sure that I get all of the flavors melded together with every bite. I'm just gonna grab one little piece of pineapple. Oh yeah, that is really good. Now for the pad thai, which looks really good. And I'm going to try not to get any of the fried tofu for this bite. Just some chicken and the noodles. Yeah, I think the spicy level five was a good choice. It's Pretty hot, but not so hot that you don't want to eat it. Now for the yellow curry. Mm. That is really good. That is a really good flavor. Is that a potato? Mm -hmm. Let me grab a potato. Got a potato. It is a hot potato. <laughs> Very funny, honey. Yeah. Honestly, right now, I think I'm digging the curry the most, but they are all really good. Can't wait to eat the rest. Let's see what Chris thinks. I'm going to start with the pineapple fried rice. Yeah, it's really good. Not spicy at all. I mean, of course you can't get the spice level on that particular dish, but has really good flavor. And now, try a bite of the Pad Thai. Yeah, I think that's a really good spice level. It'll sneak up on you though, that, be careful. We ordered level five on all these dishes, so if you're not sure, go small. And now the curry. Yeah, that was a really good curry. Let's eat. 
I did want to address a couple of things. First of all, with the level of spiciness, I did ask the waiter if it was an Asian level of spiciness or an American level of spiciness, and he said Asian. Now, the other thing I wanted to address, because I know that when I tried the Pad Thai the first time, I told you there was tofu in it. We have tried it. It is a fried tofu. It is really tasty. I was going to just tell them to keep the tofu out of my Pad Thai, but I'm glad I didn't because it did say fried and I texted Alan and he assured me it shouldn't be slimy. So good job, Alan. It was really delicious. One more thing that I mentioned was the Chinese sausage. It kind of reminds me of like pancetta or some kind of bacon. Yeah, I can't really figure it out. So if you have tried Chinese sausage, please leave us a comment down below and let us know your thoughts about it and what we can compare it to. Guys, we ate all of our food, <laughs> all of it, and it was delicious. It's a really nice atmosphere. It's a pretty quiet crowd today. It, it has been a steady stream of people in and out of here. It is getting a little more crowded now. Our reservation was at five o'clock on a Monday. Now let me tell you about the offer that we got. So not only did we redeem the buy one, get one free entree on the My Vegas and or my Konami app. We booked a room at the Vidara that was a comp room and it came with a $50 food and beverage credit and $25 in free play. The total for our meal tonight at Lemongrass was $79.15. Now 19 of that came off because of the buy one get one deal that we redeemed through the My Konami app, which left $60.15 to be charged to our room. Now, if you remember, we got $50 food and beverage credit, which means this meal at Lemongrass tonight cost us $10.15, not including tip, of course. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video. And we will see you on the next episode of The Midnight Friday.